Hey everybody, it is Dr. B with another Toolkit Tuesday where I share a tool from my latest book, Unflappable, how smart people quit overthinking, ditch the drama, and thrive at work. If you haven't already done so, go grab your copy. You can follow the link from my website at drbridgetcooper.com or go to directly to Amazon and pick up your copy there. Share with a friend. And once you have, once you've shared it and gotten your own copy, please leave me a review, either stars and or a written description of your feelings about the book. It would really help this author out. I appreciate it. So on today's Toolkit Tuesday, you'll notice I'm wearing sunglasses that are a little hint to what today is about. So this idea has been coming up so much with my clients and colleagues and even some friends and family members, this idea of being offended. So what does offended mean? Well, I looked it up in the dictionary and I'm going to recite as well as I can in my, with my memory. It is the feeling of being resentful or annoyed by typically by having a perceived insult. Whew, there's a lot to unpack there. But think about the number of times in the last week, two, three, four, that you have felt offended by the actions of someone else. And where does that come from? Well, let's say someone doesn't return an email or is late with a project or doesn't you know, call you back, somehow isn't respecting your time, your needs, your contributions that are, are due. Well, when we are offended by that, we are perceiving, as Oxford Dictionary uh, says, we are perceiving an insult. So we are taking what someone else is doing and thinking of it as an insult to us. Well, in order to do that, we have to think that that person thinks something about us that makes it such that their behavior, their lateness, their tardiness, their not doing something they were supposed to do, whatever, to speaking up to back to us, yelling at us, whatever it is, has something to do with us. Okay, that means that we believe that they believe something about us that causes their behavior to be what it is. So let's dig in and see what one of those things might be. One of those things we might believe that they believe about us is that we aren't worthy of respect. We aren't worthy of honor of that. Our time doesn't mean as much as to them as it, as it ought to. Okay. Well, if we don't believe that about ourselves, if we believe that our time is worthy, if we believe that we are worthy of respect and consideration, then when someone else behaves in a certain way, why would we be offended? Why would we believe that we are being insulted? I think that we ought to use one of the tools in Unflappable and get super curious about why the person is doing that. Because if they are telling us that they don't respect our time or our, they don't think that we're valuable enough to, to address a, an issue or they yelled at us or again, any of those things. Why is it that we believe that they think those things about us? Are they right? Well, if they're right to say that we are not worthy of respect, ouch, then that's an us problem. If we, they are wrong about that, then that's a them problem. And us being offended, feeling insulted, is taking something personally that isn't about us. Again, if it is about us, if we do believe that we're not worthy of respect, and that's an us problem that needs to be resolved, and you might need a coach, and you can call me. But if it isn't about us, and it's about them, then it's a them problem. They are not respecting people who are worthy of respect, and that's their problem. I am not saying that their behavior isn't a problem. It is. I just want us to remove. I advise us to be unflappable. You have to remove the garbage that doesn't belong in a problem. And the garbage that doesn't belong in that problem is the idea that it's an insult. Because it's really not. <laughs> it's... it's it's really all about them, again, unless there's something that they ought to be insulting about you. So why am I wearing glasses? Well, I'm wearing glasses, one, because it's a beautiful day outside and it's sunny and I have blue eyes and they're sensitive to the light. Also, I'm wearing them to point out 
the distorted vision that I have because what I see out here is not actually what anything looks like when I'm wearing my glasses because I am distorted in my, in my vision. And that's the same thing that happens when we get offended if we don't believe the thing about ourselves that we are projecting onto other people that they must be believing about us and we take that as truth. So with that, I leave you with, again, if you haven't already picked up your copy, shameless plug, this is the reason I want you to pick up the copy of Unflappable is so you'll have access to all those tools. And if you think that your company or organization might benefit from me talking about one or more of the tools that are in Unflappable and my ideas to make life and work better, please reach out to me. I am scheduling appointments all the way through the end of the year and would love to make time for your organization. If you're looking for a coach, uh, please reach out to me as well. I'm booking appointments for that currently. So. Have an amazing day and again, go be unflappable. Bye.